Well, to me, one of the single biggest plays in that Seahawks game against the Packers, which feels, by the way, a long time ago, nearly a week ago, ended up being the third and nine play uh, in the red zone from the plus 15. And by the way, kudos to this guy, to Schottenheimer, to Coach Carroll, as this team that was so anemic in the red zone scoring touchdowns is now one of the best scoring touchdowns nearly three quarters of the time this season. And really this play, I think, indicative of it, of their ability to both run it and then throw it and push it into the end zone as well. So this is third and nine plus 15. You will remember this is late in the game. They've driven down. They had two third down conversions. This is now going to be the third opportunity on third down to convert that money down. Situational football, red zone, third downs. Can you find a way to convert? And if you do, and if this team does, more than likely they're going to find a way to win this also in the fourth quarter. And this is a play as I was watching it live. Uh, there was part of me that got right into the head of this guy thinking what he must have been thinking. And that was... Bring it. Go ahead and blitz it. On third and nine, the great quarterbacks, and, and the more and the longer you play, and you watch, you know, Coach Carroll when he faces Aaron Rodgers or he faces Phillip Rivers or he faces some of the elite guys, Drew Brees, he doesn't like to pressure. Why doesn't he like to pressure? Because you leave yourself you leave yourself vulnerable. And if this guy is worth his salt, like I got to experience for two years with Peyton Manning, they want blitz. They want pressure. They don't want it to be tight and throw into seven guys dropping and four man rushing and tight windows. They want you to blitz. And when Russell Wilson saw this look here, and it was odd. And this is a Rex Ryan, you know, the D coordinator there. Petten is a Rex Ryan guy. They're an odd front. Um, they like to discuss guys they like to bring a lot of pressure they like to do a lot of different things but the minute Russell sees this shell right out the gate and no linebackers at the second level and immediately just a funky front just a look on third down that doesn't look like the rest of them right your Sesame Street which of these kids is playing his own game well on third down this look is totally unique and Russell immediately alarm bells go off looking at the safeties and then to the line of scrimmage that there's going to be pressure now where is that pressure coming from you know as you look at it here and it reminds me of the hardest hit I ever took in my life was from a blitzing look that I thought Bill Romanowski was coming and they end up not coming from this side where it's overloaded instead they're totally bluffing here and ultimately they bring just one of these defenders and they're going to drop the others into coverage here and it's going to come this way so the pressure the five-man pressure comes um, from this perspective and, uh, and ultimately, it leaves this guy vulnerable to have to cover the perfect play you have. So if you see this alignment in this front, what do you want? What play do you want? Well, I want verticals, and I want something out of my hands that's going to make a difference. There's a one-on-one -on -one to Doug. He could have possibly thrown that if he wanted to look the safety off. But more importantly, and a better option, is these guys have to come out and cover the vertical game, is the one big void is right here. The window of opportunity, and now the biggest key is that number three is on it, that he's not showing it too early, so this guy doesn't just totally fly under it, but he catches it with great resolve, knowing right where he's going. Ed Dixon does his part to separate full speed he turns his head and literally if you watch this play and they say in the game of football it's a game of inches when you watch this play my Pete Carroll on that Friday with us was so excited because they rep just this look we want to get vertical if they're going to attack us we want to hit them in the mouth if they want to bring pressure and they want to be unorthodox and they want to be unsound and they want to leave a void and space to hit kind of like that wazoo offense find space to hit then we're going to hit it full speed and if you do it may just be a game of inches is that linebacker is trying to get into his zone coverage and get underneath that vertical he misses it by that much and that much was the difference in a touchdown a win a five and five Seahawks team that's got their playoff hopes very much alive